never in my nearly 20 years of test driving cars has my opinion been swayed like it has been here. Sure, more horsepower can cure some ills, but this new Q50 Red Sport 400 from Infiniti is a transformative sports sedan experience. It's all very strange and unlike anything I've ever driven before. And at the heart of much of it is this steer by wire system, which is as artificial feeling as you can imagine. Am I driving this car or is it driving me? Those were my sentiments two years ago about Infiniti's new Q50, a car with a groundbreaking though poorly executed steer by wire system, so aloof that it ruined the entire experience. I opined at the time that Infiniti not only needed to reprogram it, but that they should make it a standalone option, both of which I'm happy to report have come to fruition. Plus, the 3.7 liter V6 is history. Replaced with a trio of turbocharged engines, starting with a 208 horsepower four cylinder and ending at this 400 horsepower Q50 Red Sport 400 with a 3 liter V6 twin turbo. Boosted to 14.7 PSI, it generates 350 pound feet of torque, starting at a low 1600 RPM, rocketing the Red Sport to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds while flaunting a 13-second quarter mile. It's a smooth power plant too, and works through an improved seven-speed automatic that's as smart as they come, with features such as downshift rev matching and NaviSync adaptive shift control, using the navigation system to alert the gearbox of the road ahead. Various driving modes alter the car's characteristics, including those of Infiniti's new dynamic digital suspension with adjustable shock absorbers, lending to a taut, though forgiving ride quality with greater adhesion to the road. Sticking it are a set of staggered width 19-inch run-flat max performance potenzas, perfectly complementing this car's greater agility during cornering. Though with this much power to the rear wheels, it's not hard to break them loose, which is why it's unfortunate there's no limited slip differential. There is, however, something called active trace control, which adjusts vehicle braking and engine torque to help enhance cornering feel. With traction control off, you can have all sorts of fun. But it's really this next generation direct adaptive steering which converts the driving experience from annoying to pretty awesome. Using an electronic rather than mechanical connection from the steering wheel to the rubber, this $1,000 option now commands more respect because it greatly enhances steering feel and feedback as to what's happening at each corner. Larger brakes are added to handle the additional power. These seats are phenomenal. I'm talking Volvo or even better. And they position you for excellent command over the front end. Though I'm still not completely sold on this steer by wire system, it's infinitely better than in my first drive. It's still a bit vague and twitchy on center, but it's definitely more direct feeling in sporty driving. The seven speed is smart, the paddle shifters feel great, and the summer use Bridgestones contribute tangibly to this car's surprisingly capable handling. It's truly a joy to drive and faster than heck, but if you are wishing for racier sounds, sorry, the soundtrack is muted at best. My car's optional driver assistance package also integrates more seamlessly than before with a bevy of cutting edge tech to help avoid accidents, including a brilliant around view monitor. The sport type driver's seat with power lumbar, torso, and manually adjustable thigh extension is magnificent. Rear seats are midsize spacious and overall passenger and luggage volume is greater than that in the Cadillac CTS V Sport. Electronics and infotainment are agreeable, utilizing a dual touchscreen system with plenty of redundant controls. There's still no full Apple or Android smartphone integration, but downloadable apps are available. The new Bose Performance Series 16-speaker audio system is a gem too. But on these tires, it can get pretty loud in here. If you prefer stealth speed, these exhaust tips are one of the few styling cues that give the Red Sport away but I wouldn't mind a little more exclusivity. 2017 models receive red brake calipers. Available also with all-wheel drive, the 2016 Q50 Red Sport 400 starts at 48,855, while this well-stocked tester stickers for 55,185. And comparatively, 22 MPG in combined driving on premium is well above average. 
From enigmatic to exhilarating, Infinity has rebooted the Q50, and the results are very rewarding. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.